Hello my fellow traders, this is Scott N from VTraders and this is just a trade recap of my trading on the ticker ABUS from Friday, July 24th. I always look at the daily and weekly charts to look at what uh, history has shown as far as previous support and resistance levels. And to me, um, I, let's zoom in here. First of all, um, this area here there's no resistance so it doesn't surprise me that the stock had a run and didn't have much resistance in this area but starting around 864 to 919 right in this area this is where I would expect some heavy resistance to come in because I'm assuming that there's still bag holders uh, in here uh, there's a lot of consolidation in this area so when people see that they can get back to just about break even uh, there's just going to be a natural wall of sellers that come in to hold price back. This is the two minute chart and uh, what I was thinking in the pre-market is it looks bro this stock looks broken to me. So if we draw a trend line here, uh, now uh, one thing I want to mention is you know you could draw a trend line here but to be on the safer side, I usually look at the more the most conservative uh, trend line. You know, the, the one that's it's going going to be the farthest away most of the time. So in any case, it looked like it it was breaking the trend. You know, we had a little top here. We had a little, you know, this is a double top in itself around 6 a.m. So there, I was reading this is that there's probably some big seller up here. Um, but it looked like maybe that was it and it was going to break down. But, you know, also as is often the case lately, you know, 930 comes and you get that push up. Often it breaks high a day and then you, you uh, hit the stops and then they reverse it after that. So after I attempted the short in here and I got stopped out or I stopped myself out, um, my plan B was that it would it was going to go up I thought maybe it would come up to this resistance level whoops this resistance level here and fail or we would go for here but th this obviously is the best place to enter and this is where my larger order was um, I was using 950 I didn't think we'd get to 950 but that's what I was sizing to uh, $9 and 50 cents I would have been out I didn't think it would get up there um, but this happens a lot, you know. You you, you get these uh, pushes, breaks high day, and it'll, it'll go a little bit, or maybe a little bit more than you expect, and then it'll reverse, and that'll be the that'll be the high of the day. Another thing I will point out is I do pay attention to candlesticks. My favorite uh, candlestick is a reversal bar, you know, where you you have a, uh, a situation where price action you know goes up and then reverses and close at the low or almost the low in that same bar um, and you can use candlesticks you know if you want to wait for confirmation but of course if you do that you're usually going to be late I mean if I waited for this candlestick to break I'd be getting in somewhere below a 48 and um, if anything, maybe I would use it to add if I wasn't full size or if I wanted to get oversized. Um, but I do pay attention to it as far as um, staying in the trade. You know, this, this is confirmation. Came up to this level and then reversed. Then we came down to the next support level. We had another reversal candle. Okay, and then that tells me it's probably going to go down, test the next support level, and then it broke through that, and we get another reversal candle over here. So this just gives me more confirmation that I should be holding some shares uh, as long as I can before uh, it hits major support or I get stopped out. And don't forget about tick charts. Uh, I did look at, I think it was the 333 tick chart, and this, I was already in the trade, but uh, just as confirmation. Uh, this is very clear to me. You see this this trend line here? Sometimes it's amazing how accurate the tick chart can be, and it's usually on the stocks that are very active, you know, with high volume, a lot of trading activity. But 
a trend line form. This is from 8 o'clock until about a little after 9.30. Um, but you have a trend line here. You came up. This is, this is where you went through high of day. It cracked the trend line. And then, as often is the case, it comes up, tests the bottom of the trend line. And then, if I really wanted to, and maybe if I was paying more attention, I would have. But um, this, this would be an ad for me. You know, so I, I was already full size, but uh, I could have went oversized here uh, and just used this this pivot low right here to enter. So if I got in at 875, then maybe I'd be risking 903, 905, 910, somewhere in that area. But um, you you know, if you if you were watching the tick chart and you just wanted it to trade more carefully, you could have used this as a setup. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below.